We're in the middle of a movie experiment here where all of us recommended a movie for somebody else on the show. We just drew names. And Morgan, what did you watch? I watched Steel Magnolias. Okay, and Amy's the one who recommended that to Morgan. Okay, and, and Morgan, you're only 26, so this is a little <laughs> older for you, right? Yeah, but Dolly Parton is in it, and so is Julia Roberts, which I love both of them. All right, give us your review of Steel Magnolias. Okay, well, I have a love-hate relationship with Amy right now because the movie made me cry. Um, but it was really, really good. And I definitely see why it's a classic. Um, but I don't suggest watching it like kind of after you lose someone in your life. It's very much about family and this group of women who have stayed friends through everything. But I got to give it 4.5 out of 5 Shelby's. It was really, really good. Wow. Oh. Amy, anything yeah. to say about that? Steel Magnolias is one of my favorites. I I know that it can stir up a lot of emotion. And Morgan, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know that you recently lost your grandmother. But hopefully, too, it can just remind you of the connection that family can have and how important that is. And there is a lot of humor in there, too. So you do laugh, but you'll definitely cry. Morgan, yeah, in particular. You... Hold on. Yeah, the, the lag is just so bad, guys. It's nobody's fault. Sorry. Uh, Morgan, go ahead and do your thing now. Yeah, and in particular, the funeral scene, that that part just, I was laughing the whole time. And then when that scene happened, I just, it was like all the tears, I think, from obviously losing my grandma and the movie in once. But it, it was still so good to watch. It, it Just like you said, it brought back both good and, you know, sad feelings. So it was a good thing. Amy, did you forget that she just lost her grandma when you recommended that movie? I don't know. I mean, no, I remember that. But I think, uh, I mean, going back, maybe I should have recommended Pretty Woman. <laughs> because <laughs> that probably would have just made her laugh, not cry. But I'm not opposed to getting out emotion. Maybe a Blessing in Disguise, Morgan needed to release some of that. Okay. Well... I'm, Morgan, I'm glad you liked it. That's a Maybe. successful <laughs> little experiment here. But Lunchbox did watch Black Panther as uh, sent to him by Morgan number two. Okay, Lunchbox, review your forced review of Black Panther. Yeah, so going in, I was really excited because there was so much hype behind this movie. Everybody talks about how great it is. And I'll be honest with you, it was awful boring. Like there wasn't much action for a like a, like a comic book action movie that's supposed to be a lot of fighting. There was not very much fighting. I was just like, okay, can we just get to some fighting? It was just storyline. Okay, boring, boring. I didn't really think it was that good. I thought it was way overrated, way overhyped, and maybe that was the problem. Maybe I was just expecting excellent things because everybody talked about how so it was so great and you're, you're going to love it and you're going to just be so amazed. And I was just like, man, this is not that good. Are you sure you don't watch Pink Panther? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I watched it. Okay. Um, what do you what do you rate it? I give it two and a half Wakandas out of five. Wow. Listen, I saw Black Panther. I loved it. It's amazing. Who else saw? Yeah. Hey, uh, Amy, did you? No, my kids did. They loved it. Yeah. Um, let's go to movie Mike. Here's a whole podcast on movies. What do you think of Black Panther? I mean, that's one of the best Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I thought. It would... Do we think Lunchbox is being a contrarian here? I think one hundred percent. Okay. Well, it's his review though. His forced review is two and a half Wakandas out of five. Yes. Okay. There you go. 97% positive Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I, I guess I, I guess I'm a 3%er right there. I, I, it's not it's not everybody's cup of tea.